Oh, look at him. He looks like a girl that just woke up. On my rough night. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Rough night. Oh. What? It's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine? I was working with. If you need better lighting, please let me know. So important. Who knew? I was working without that overhead fluorescent light. We have. We're going to put them on our website. It's been such a help, man. And I have it hanging on a drop ceiling. You can hang it on a regular ceiling. But my gosh. Kios, Kios. Kio. Okay. So we got Max in for his... Uh, two, it's been two weeks, man. Time flies. We've got Max here for his brush out. So start in the back at the toes. See if I can see the the cord now is so much heavier, so it's not like you can move it quickly. Yeah, it's not like I can move it and twist the camera any which way I want like that, like behind. But the sanitary is the hardest part to get the camera cord to now. It's just different. So we want. I really want to get him done thoroughly in thirty minutes or less. So that's my time frame on his grooming. And we will stop the feed at that point. So make sure you smash the like button. I think we're just going to do the brush out live this morning and start a new feed after that. I'm not sure. We'll see how the first the first live goes. Make sure you uh, smash the like button and share. That's, that's usually on the gaming channel. What I do to support the gaming channel is I like it, share it to a friend or a social media if i have a social media on my phone and then i get to watching it's real quick and easy it's fast it's like hey watch this i'll be like cynthia gets a lot of them from me i'm like cynthia we're live right now watch it with us but sometimes you really want you know that friend that has dogs and you're like i know she can watch it right now let me send it to her like that There is a technique, or you might not be able to brush this dog without burning the dog. There is a technique. It's not really touching the skin. It is, I'm letting it get in there, but not drag into the skin. If I let a beginner do this dog, I guarantee you I'll probably come back in 30 minutes and half the body is not even done, or more than half. So there does come experience. I would ask myself, am I ready to let my helper do it? And I'm like, no, you know? It's a, it's a down and pull out, down and pull out. You let the brush do the work for you. But I'm not dragging it into the skin. Like, it, it's not all in the skin. I don't know how to explain it better than that. You just got to start doing it and then... So you can't start here. You have to start in a line down here. I've got my leave-in conditioner, so I'm going to leave the hair silky smooth, considering this is just a brush out only. Make sure you have a face mask on or a face mask from us. If you don't have one, it's very important. If you haven't ever used a face mask and you've been doing this for a long time, I say it's going to be a tough learn. Just like last night, I was like, wow, I've been holding my Xbox remote controller wrong for six months. Well, it's going to take me about a year to probably fix that. Someone didn't tell me that I was holding it wrong. He's sitting right next to me the whole time. Dee Dee, you're holding it wrong. No communication, man. It's not that. I hold it wrong, too. No, I understand that. So the thing is, he's been holding it wrong as well. But he knew that it was being the wrong. I didn't know that there was a way to hold the Xbox. Because uh, that, no. game, that game, I actually started thinking. I was like, shouldn't I be holding the remote the right way? Because I need all my, I need the fastest 
I need to push the buttons as fast as I can. So, I will hold it right so right. six months later, he's going to implement that? Boom. If someone's working for me, for not even working for me, but working with me, or I'm sit, standing next to somebody and they're holding their clippers wrong, what do you do? Immediately fix them. You don't wait six months later and then try to get them to learn again. No. Likely it's gonna, it's not gonna, you're not gonna change it fast. It's gonna be hard. And it is. So now I'm gonna have to battle changing my remote. Your remote, because you first had to learn how to so game first. He keeps looking down, I keep putting his head up, he keeps looking down, I keep putting his head up. That is such a waste of time in the long run when you add up all those seconds. I really would like to get done because this is a not a full broom appointment, so you shouldn't be working on him for an hour. So I'm going to put the broom loop on. I'm not here to make him look up, make him look up. Make, I'm not going to do that. Uh, if that time is absolutely valuable in business. So see where you're losing time and fix it. And we're not here to waste time. But I waste a lot of time with David, ma'am. You know, what are you doing back there right now, for instance? I'm going to get into it, ma'am. See, he wants to look at me over here. I love you, Max, but it's, we got to get to work here. Just because you're focused doesn't mean you don't love what you do and you don't love the dog. I would rather you get done with the work than over here horsing around. I mean, sometimes, yeah, you're going to have some fun and enjoy yourself, but I prefer to get the work done. That's my, that's where I'm learning that from my mom. You work hard. Those of you who work hard and you don't sit around chit-chatting, texting, playing on your phone, you know what I'm talking about. Work is work. Play is play. Play can be after work. You on the military, maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about, too. And I'm not saying I'm perfect and it has to be my way. There's just different types of people and different type of work, work ethics. You want to hang out and go to dinner? Let's hang out and go to dinner. But I'm not going to hang out, talk, chit-chat, text, and go to dinner all while I'm gro grooming your dog. I would rather have someone focused on my dog and get the job done without injuring my dog, if at all possible, and be done with, and then, hey, Dee, let's go to dinner next week. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm doing big, long strokes because I've already, I've already done all that, just bringing it together. And he keeps looking at me, Max, stop, look forward. Because of the hair, when he looks at me, it's really hard to see where I've left off. Okay. So the comb's not going to lie here. So this is a brush out. We're not doing a bunch of this and that, this and that. We're not doing all that other stuff right now. We're just doing brushing out. He'll be back in two weeks for a full and a full price crew. So we just come in like this to make sure that we all always keep the mats at bay. And there are some of you who do, so I don't make every client do that, but you'll pay the price of not doing it. Having regular appointments or not having regular appointments. You might be less likely to have an increase at the beginning of the, you know, the new year of a groom if you are off going often. You might, might, I don't know if you will, but you might, depending on your groomer. But everything increases at the end of the year. Taxes increase, everything, inflation, all that. So why wouldn't anybody, what went up this year? Postage went up this year. USPS went up this year. I mean, come on, wake up. Taxes, your house taxes probably are going to go up. 
everything goes up to say, well, I've been grooming, I've been having my haircut done with you for six years. It should stay the same price. No, it doesn't stay the same price. Whether you're hairstylist or a groomer, you can't have the same price as you had 10 years ago. I hope you don't. I had one lady uh, at Super Zoo challenge me and everybody in that class, she's like, oh no, you can't do that. You need to, mm -mm, you need to raise your, you gotta raise your prices in 10 years, what? She looked at the class like, are you kidding me? You need to wake up. And she was older than me, you know? So I, at the time I was like, oh, I need to wake up. Sorry, Max. Got myself in a corner. I'm just talking away. I don't know, man, if you guys are listening or if you care what I'm saying. Maybe it'll hit home for somebody. So I talked, I'll do some coaching with people. They'll book coaching online at myfavoritegroomer.com under the business section, coaching for business, coaching for YouTube, coaching, whatever you want to coach on. Personal coaching. And I can tell you right now, like some people do tell me that, how much do you charge? And I'll be like, it's not about to discussing prices, but it kind of is. You touch base on DD, you know, I charge $40 on a Shih Tzu and I'm like, well, where do you live? You know, what side of, what side of the country? How many people and population do you have? How many groomers are in your area? Do you do aggressive dog grooming? And I might say, how long since has it been since you raised your prices? Do you take cash check or charge? Do you, what do you do with the balance check fee? You know, there's a lot to it. If you want to run a business, then run a business. If you want to run a hobby out of your house, that's a whole nother thing. But you be careful. This is not a hobby. I would run out of my house. You better make sure you've got insurance and protecting your business. Otherwise I could take your house away. You want to run it out of your house. You've exposed your entire residential status. You've exposed yourself to having everything taken away from you unless you do it right. And if you need answers, you need to book a coaching class. Your time is money. If you want to spend an hour with me, your time is money too. That's an hour you could not groom a dog. So that's valuable information, what I've learned over the years. And what I've taken is my, and I have an international business degree and I have a lot of work experience. So what I can teach you is valuable. You're not going to hear everything someone has to say if they never went through it. I answer a lot of questions for free, but if you really need some coaching, you need to book that. You know what I'm saying? This is my, my least favorite part of the comb is this side. I'm working on some combs to be made for me, so keep an eye out. We've got the scissors already. They're on my website. But this is the this is the part I use the most. This part, I don't even know, man. I don't even know what that's there. Not for me. Maybe for somebody else, but that part doesn't do nothing for me. It's in my way, and I always got to switch it around. We are working on the combs. There's only so much you can do, man, but one person, let me tell you, Maya, I'm working all night long, man. I still don't get everything done. I need to get done. So David and I were talking about maybe hiring just someone with college experience and education, someone who knows how to work all the Microsoft instead of just hiring helpers, hire someone like real that really knows the admin paperwork stuff so that when I give them something to do, I don't have to, to babysit them at all. If I got a babysitter, I might as well do it myself, right? Oh, man. Because if, if uh, like, when I was working the admin stuff for the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration, the people who, the government entity, entity that runs, you know, the flying, drones, planes, our airport, you know, that kind of thing. If you get hired, it's the hiring process is not easy. You better pass, and then you get a, back, a huge background check. There's no joke, man. I need someone like that. And then you get started, you get a little bit of training, and then you're on your own. You know what? You already get, to, you do it. You just do the work. So there's not someone standing over my shoulder telling me, okay, click that button. Okay, click that. Not every day. I need someone like that. So maybe I need to look for prior military admin specialist, something like that. You guys know somebody, please push them up to email me. What up? Yeah, Lee, just some, just common sense, man. I need someone that can keep up. 
I don't need someone I need to like babysit at all. This is it's too. I, it costs me so much time to babysit. If I have to groom and do all the paperwork, no. I might as well just do it myself. Shoot. And it's it, to me, it's busy work. It's easy work. It just takes a long time. Doing Excel databases, addresses, shipping stuff out. Like it's just easy. It's easy. You're not gonna break a sweat. So I got to break a sweat and do all that. Mm -mm. It's too much. Yeah, David Torres, common sense is it's not out there. You can't even learn common sense. I've been trying to work on that with David. Mm -mm. He's listening. I know he's listening. What? <laughs> Dude, he's, on, he's got the YouTube on, man. I don't have, I don't have to be on YouTube no more, man. I got this. This box doing my work for me. He's going to take my job. Great. You have 16 other jobs that are sitting there doing nothing. Exactly. So you like to think. One of those jobs is taking like a freaking I just have to poop break every five minutes. I just have to supervise him for the first like maybe five, ten lives. Go to the bathroom every five minutes. I don't know what kind of job allows you to do that. This is the first time I go to the bathroom, man. <laughs> Why gotta put my business out there like that, man? It's sunny here. We got nice sunniness today. David Torres, are you know this man? Yesterday I was like, David got to do a coffee run. He did ran and picked up product. I was like, his work wasn't even at the sun. This is just unfair. Okay, I think I need to move you forward. How are we looking here, right? You can tell. And when a client comes in, it's like, I don't brush my dog. You can, I brush my dog. No, you can look and say, okay, you brushed your dog two weeks ago. <laughs> right, Max? You can tell the difference between a brush dog and a not brush dog at a glance. I brush my dog regularly. Okay. You don't have to lie. I already know, right? Am I right? You guys know. And I don't care if you're lying. Just be straight up so I know what to charge you and I know how much work I've got ahead of me. It's not about calling you out. But yeah, you don't need to say anything. I'll know. I'll, uh, have that. I still have that pelt. I brushed my dog last night, man. I think about that all the time. Like, okay, sure. You didn't brush your dog's knots out last night. Uh -uh. And we got to come back and do the ears completely separate. Mom might be watching. Did you tell her we were live? Yeah. Oh, okay. She knows. She might be outside watching in the in the car. And I'm so glad she gets to watch her grooming if she wants. I think that's a really cool thing that I think most groomers should start doing. If you need to set that up, please call me. We will help you set it up. You'll have to pay for our services, so we'll get you up and running immediately. You know how many groomers are offering that? Little to none. Set yourself apart, but figure out what you want to set yourself apart doing. Okay, Max, you've got to stop, man. Stop, man. Got it. Okay, get my mat breaker. You just love looking at me, Max. I mean, he's had no training. It's just brushing. Over time, this is just, he's had to be brushed his entire every life. Time. He has no training. No training. How do I get my dog to stand still? Brush he him every day. He doesn't have a group new dog. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Which is rare. I wouldn't, you you guys know those people that in the beginning, you need to have a groom loop. On. Yes, you do. You need to have a groom loop on that dog. That groom loop's too tight. No, you know best. 
the dog starts going, oh, yeah, change this to the tight, the tension here. But he is the only one I remote, and I've got my hands on him. He's the only one I remotely let him on the table without a groom loop because I've got so much to work with and a lot around his neck. You know, look at this. You can't brush him with a groom loop in the way. It's not going to happen. But don't you dare for once think that he'll never jump off the table. It's that one time where you thought that you were good and he decided to change on you and it's over. He hits his head on the ground and all of a sudden you're in a lawsuit and a med your medical is huge and he's never the same dog. It'll never be the same. And you will never be able to look at the client face to face and be like, oh, I never thought he would jump off the table. How many of you out there, pet owner or groomer right now watching, you can put down me, just put M-E. It happened to you. Your dog jumped off the table. How about your dog jumped off the table and hurt himself or herself? Did that happen to you? Say me. It happened to me. It's going to happen. You're going to learn the hard way if you don't use a groom loop. Put me if it happened to you. Your dog jumped off the table. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Thanks for the donation. Woohoo! Sweet. You're going to make me stay for the next group. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. How many likes do we have? We have a 43 likes and 103 watchers. That's going to make me close out. If your dog jumped off the table with, since you didn't put a groom loop or the groom loop wasn't tight enough, or your dog jumped off the table and fell down and hurt himself or herself, put me. David could put me for me. It, me happened twice. Excuse me. Me happened three times. Three times in 16 years. And nope, not going to happen. Not anymore. Same dog. Can you believe that? Same dog. One time it was because I had the groom loop off. Second time, this was like years ago. Second time, a few months later, a couple years later, the groom loop was loose. I went to get a clipper, boom, he pulled right his neck right out of it and jumped. Last time and forever last time, I had turned around to grab some scissors, he jumped off the table, and I said, I would never do that again. I, I honestly thought he had injured himself really bad. You better use a groom loop. It may not be the best product, and I promise you, I'm working on something for you. It may not be the best product, but it's the only thing keeping your dog on the table. And even if your dog jumps and hangs there for a second, he didn't hit his head on the concrete ground or down on the floor, he didn't hit him. They don't always land on their feet, people. They can land on their side, on their tummy. Faith, she took a jump out of the pickup truck, landed on her chest, on her side. Uh, and now we know, she will fly out of the truck. She needs to be latched in. And I was trying to grab her and she flew out of the truck. It was scary. She wasn't the same dog for two days. She probably fractured her, her lung cavity. Who knows? Don't let people tell you, oh my God, you're hurting it. No, get a groom loop. And I, I'm telling you, I've got my hands on him right now. But get a groom loop. If you have a dog like this, you're going to have to take the groom loop off. I'm working with his head. You saw me take the groom loop off. He's the only dog that I even remotely do this with. But look at, this is his life, his brushing. The groom loop is very important. Until they change the style, or until I hope I come out with what I want to come out with before they change any style, but until they change the style of the groom loop into something that's more comfortable but secure, use the groom loop or wrap it around the body. You need something holding the dog on the table. I can't reiterate it. Man, we really need to get done here with your face. I feel like I'm just going over stuff over and over. Oh, see, got a knot in there. I better get back in there. Put me, if it happened to you, put me. Melissa P, woohoo! Melissa P, tell me, I thought you worked full time. I see you a lot, though. Or did you retire already? You've got to remind me. You're still, are you working now? You're working right now? Do you have your TV in your cubicle? <laughs> Do you have a TV in your cubicle? Man, thank you so much for the donation. Man, you're one of the top supporters. I tell you what, girl. Okay, Matt, you gotta come up. Working.
working and listening. Wow. Now y'all wake up. Now y'all take take example here. She still donated. Wow, man. She's working and listening. She's time. working to support me. That's what she's doing. Still has time to like the button. Yep. Donate. Who knows if she shared? Oh my goodness, man. Now that is serious stuff. That is very serious. Oh gosh, man. Today's gonna be a really busy day. It feels like a Saturday, actually. Except for it's longer. My last client is a parent assist aggressive dog that's driving 40 minutes, 40 miles or so to have me groom. She found me through a veterinarian. Last hope. Oh no. A veterinarian? Yeah, a veterinarian and the groom room mentioned her to me because that she last groomed, she drove all the way out to the groom room and they couldn't do it. They tried, I guess, but they couldn't do it. The dog bit three people, three groomers that day. So she booked like a month ago. This is my last groom of the day. I don't think it's going to be live because uh, I am going to record it, but I don't think I'm going to go live with it. There's too much going on. Because when I do a video video, I can actually get the video camera up in the butt area and stuff with the cords and all that. I'm very limited on moving everything. So the key is when you're doing a brush like this, you still have to charge, right? But... You Are you experienced enough to do this dog and not brush burn the dog? That's where you want to be. You don't want to be brush burning this dog. And thorough enough that you actually are getting through all the hairs on the body. That's key. You need to get through all the hairs on the body. Okay? Every hair on the ear here, too. Bye, mailman. If you don't want to get hurt, just use your comb here. He's a, if you come at it the wrong way, it's going to definitely poke you. Whew, so I'm ecstatic. It's all warm today. It was 35. What is it? 30 something yesterday. And now it's all 80. Stupid. Stupid. Mm. Look at all that static, man. Only one other person had the dog jump off the table? Yeah. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I know for a fact that they just might not be watching right now. I got emails about what happened. Thank you for your honesty. I think that was Lee Rally. I can't I can't remember. I think that was Lee Rally. I thought that said me. I thought who said me? There was one person I know I saw said it was it Lee or Lynn. Is Lynn out there? Okay, Dee Dee. Wrap it up. This bar, I usually have it off, but I decided not to take it off because I already had him on the table. This bar for him, I take the bars off the table usually. Night Owl oh, really? I thought it was someone else. Someone I knew real well. I think you're missing one. It was right after, no, was it right after I mentioned it? So, when, right before you put me. It was more than one person, but. Yeah. Oh, tricky too. Yeah, that's what I said. Thank you. 
See, Lynn Tricky said me right away. John McGee. John McGee did too? Yeah. Okay, okay. You just said only one person. I know he just said me. Just oh. Now they're, coming out. now they're coming out, but I know it's not just me. I know, and I know it's not just Lynn. <laughs> There's you want to start grooming at your house. You first you think my dog will stay on the table, or you put the dog on the table and you still got to get your tools, and boom, the dog's gone. And then you learn, holy shit, that dog, my dog, could have hurt herself. Oh my gosh, I better not do that again. Ah, oh, let me order that groom loop ASAP. Let me get an arm ASAP. You, you know. Or then you start going, well, I'm just going to groom him on the couch. <laughs> I'm just going to bend over long enough to bend over and do it on the floor like I did with Rocco and them for you guys. It's backbreaking work. How many of you guys have backbreaking work bathing them dogs, your own dogs, grooming your own dogs on the floor still? What I do. Who still grooms their dogs on the floor? I do. Who still bathes, including me, you can put I do. I am tired of bathing Brownie every other day. And David did it twice yesterday, this morning and once yesterday because he runs in the mud and he gets, he loves to party. He's out there partying. Been, I'm changing my bathtub at home. I'm telling you that right now. The last time I did it, I said, this is changing because I am bending over and it is backbreaking. Put backbreaking, I do. Bathing my dog on the ground, you know, like, you know, like bending over in the, t oh, no, we're done with that. It's backbreaking. You do it 20 times. Let's just say you have the dog. The dog lives 15 years. You bathe your dog once a month. Doing the math. It'll add up. When I get the tub that we're going to use, I'm going to put it on our website because I think I'm going to be really happy with it. But I'm going to demo it first before I say, yes, this is going to work. So be, bear, bear with me. I'm going to get that ready for you. There's something in here. And then we're almost done, Mary. Okay, let me close my mouth. But see, he keeps looking at me, man. It's starting to get frustrating. Come on, look forward. See? Hey, even tell it's in there, can you? You can hear it. You hear it? Hang in there, Max. Look at that. You want all that combable? Yeah. From the skin out, right? Just feel. Close your eyes and actually get in there and feel any thick mats, which is hair that's really matted up into a ball of some sort. It could be any size. It could be the whole thing, but you don't have to look. You just look up and use your senses and your fingertips just to make sure under the armpits and everything. So I was battling mats behind his ears and we've been working on those, not cutting them out anymore. Not cutting them out, but breaking through them. If you keep cutting them out forever, it'll always stay matted. Little by little, don't get overwhelmed. As I tell myself, don't get overwhelmed, Dee Dee. Just don't give up yet. Just work through it. I need you to look up. Yeah, nice. It's really hard on your palm, the palm of your hand. You're, you're, you're making your work, definitely working out your fingers and your palm of your hand doing that kind of work. 
for me, I wouldn't comb through a dog. The whole thing just combed through. Heck no, you need a brush. It's, I'm pinching and holding real tight here. So the inside of my hand is really getting work out. It's like, didn't we go through this? This is why you need to double check. Tape is like, shh. I like that. That's funny. Can we already come here? Okay, I'll be quiet for David to go to walk. It's like, stop talking about it. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? See? <laughs> Let me check your chin. You knew right away you stood up for me so I could do your sanitary? Just a little, you can use your thinning shears. I don't really use those very often. You have to do like 20 swipes to get it right with the thinning shear. We just like a little of this out, and then sometimes I go back a little bit, but it's not that bad today. Just get this straight up like that, you know what I mean. I'm using the bubble tips. We have different ones we're just going to start carrying, but here's the purple ones. They're a little bit more inexpensive. I just updated that on the website. Let me get a flea comb here. Flea comb, get these boogers out. Okay, see a booger in there? Not bad. I'm seeing some donations. I'll, I'll haul her out in just a second. Let me just get this out of here. Pop that back, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like to mess with his mouth too much, but I do see some of this that's wet. I'm going to get some of this out now. Matt, you're such a good dog. Good boy. All right. 
Good boy, yes. Let me get that out. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, good boy, yeah. You wagging your tail? Yeah. Uh, once you start trimming all this, it's just going to stay that way. So I'm not going to do that. I don't normally do that. But I do, I'm do. i seeing no this stuff. I'm going to get this stuff while I'm here. Okay. Gentle, easy, and don't have your, don't be standing here like this at all, ever. Matter of fact, I don't even want to close them right there. It's in the mouth. Get it out of there. I guess I'm going to take this. I can tell there's, it's all wet. We're almost done here. Mom's in the uh, in the lobby, and she's watching and listening. Taking some of that yellow out. Rainforest clone, you know this. I'm going to do your 40s real fast on your pads. Turn around for me. Nothing spectacular, but help it keep it clean. You know, you know what I mean? Debris, all that good stuff. Might as well. I'm right here. I'll just take a couple seconds. Don't turn around. Check your rainforest. Make sure. You ready? You ready? Let me get your harness on. We're about to wrap it up. Let me check our donations and everything first. Let me call you guys out. Is that right? I know. He knows so well, man. Oh, look at him. Well, always looks like a different dog. That's just a brush out. Can you imagine? Yes. That's a tightness. Yeah, it is. Let's go. Good. Yeah, you're welcome. So much hair. Can you fill out your hand for me? No. Out of time for me? Yeah. Let me grab your phone. I think we're good, good, right? Okay. Yeah, I was in California. Let's just go in there and buy the folder. Wow, let's we'll see here. Okay. Were you a good boy? <laughs> oh, you did great. They're listening right now. He's probably sorry. Really? Well. Yeah.
I should get a code right there. All right, you guys, check out the new coat I have. And I got to tell you a secret here. Let me see what this says. I don't know what that says here. FYI, Caton de Tulier. That's true. That is a Caton de Tulier. All right, so I'm scrolling back. I know I saw a donation from LAH. She says, or he says, I have no pets, but I enjoy your live feeds. I watch them at work on Saturdays. Love you, Didi, from Leslie. Leslie, thank you for, wow, $24.99. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. It makes me now decide I am just going to go ahead and do live on the next feed as well, the next dog coming in. We've got 70 likes, 74 watchers. So if you haven't smashed the like button and shared the video, do that now. Just type in, I love this groomer, watcher here, and then share the video. Uh, to your Facebook, Twitter, wherever, to it, message it to somebody, email it to somebody. On my cell phone, it says share, and then I can either text message the link, I can email the link. I have options. Uh, Renee Fisher, always doing such a great job making every dog look and feel great. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you, Renee. $14.99. Appreciate you. Your donations have made me decide we're going to do live on the next groom. We're going to start a new feed, and we'll be grooming this next dog live as well. She's an amazing dog. I love her. She's so sweet. One of my most favorite dogs not breeds but dogs and it looks like here um did you hide that no, I okay so keep scrolling real fast i'm going to do a shout out and then i'm going to talk about the jacket real fast and then uh we're going to start a new feed so get ready if you don't see the new feed come up just be sitting on the channel on the channel face yeah. on youtube because yeah. sometimes the notifications when you do back-to-back -back lives they don't notify fast enough so that's what we notice what what, what could and would happen it says, somebody said, DD, help me making my cocker smell better. DD, help me with making my, okay, so there's a few things with a cocker spaniel. And I do notice, like, she's not a member, so I'm still going to answer her question. Uh, your cocker spaniel, I mean, this might take a minute, so really, there's a real few quick, things. Ear infection, what the dog's eating can come through the smell of the skin, and then you can do a cologne cover-up. The cologne's gonna smell great, but what shampoo, what food are you feeding, conditioner, and this the cologne, all that works together. However, if you have a cocker spaniel, 99.9% .9 of the time there is an ear infection, a major ear infection that's for life. So I recommend your ear cleaning and ear flushing on a regular basis, and we can talk on the phone about that before you purchase anything. If I when I would go to an animal shelter, which I have, and pick up a cocker spaniel and foster that dog out of my home, like give it a home, the first thing I do is come home, come to the salon, shave the dog down, start the coat fresh, do an ear cleaning, ear flushing, and then on a regular basis for ear flushing, most of the time the stench comes from the ear. If there's an ear infection, that's 99% your problem. So you need to make sure there's a few things there. Okay. All right. So David's saying wrap it up. Lee Rowley. Keep on educating and helping pet parents. Thank you, Lee. I think Lee donates every feed. Melissa P., Lee Rally, I think Lynn Tricky, Callie. There's some people that donate on every feed. If everybody just donated a dollar, then everyone wouldn't have to do these 25 nine, right? A hundred people Fisher. donate a dollar, same thing. Renee so Fisher donated twice. Renee Fisher. Fisher. Oh, wait, twice? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your donations. Your donations have made me decide to go live again right now, back to back. So watch for the notification. If not, be on the dashboard of My Favorite Groomer on YouTube because it'll be right there in a few minutes. I'm going to talk about the coat because this morning I was driving into work. And quite frankly, uh, when I was growing up, I watched Grease, right? And Grease was my one of my favorite movies. And I uh, grew up in Japan in a military family. And my dad got me and my sister pink ladies coats pink lady it had pink lady on it it had our name right here and i honestly was driving into work thinking this morning like wow what a reflection of who i was and who i've become oh well, you had a button right there you because well when you zip it up it tucks in there david it's fine what well, do you want me to button it and leave it open it's og style stupid <laughs> so i'm driving to work and i got tears somebody. in my eyes Thinking about, I used to wear pink ladies coat and I was really into it. Like I was a pink oh, lady. Yeah, yeah really? I was like a pink lady, me and my sister. And I was like, <laughs> man, where did my parents do with my coats? I would have never donated well, those suckers. Uh, I bet they're really good quality. And still they good. were, they were yeah. thick too. They were for winter. And I don't know why we lived in Japan and he had it handmade in the uh, Philippines, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I had the pink ladies coat. And so when I ordered these, and then got to wear it into work today. 
I was like, this is my reflection of a pink lady. It's it still ingrained in me. What? Made you keeps interrupting me. What? Go, go, go. No, pink no, lady. I don't know pink what you're talking lady. about. What did you just pink say? Lady. Oh pink my lady. goodness. Can you guys listen to him? Like, hurry up. He's like, hurry up, hurry up. And then he keeps we stopping gotta go, me. We gotta go, because we gotta go. We got a lot to do. David Torres, you know what I'm gonna say. We got a lot to do. All right, so I'm driving into work and I'm literally like, oh my gosh, this is a reflection of back then and now because I have a new pink lady jacket and it is the My Favorite Groomer logo jacket. Is that not awesome? Do you see? Can you see the glitter? It is really shiny. At home last night, we showed it on the Me and You Gaming and you could, it would, it was not the same. So Can now we have it? the pink lady jacket. It's very affordable. I already did that. You couldn't see it. There you go. Flex your back a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the, the jacket is awesome. I love it. It feels great. This is a large on me. So if you're willing and interested in getting the jacket, I personally have to say, I think it's for the pink lady. Scoot back, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's for the pink lady. Okay. So anybody that's getting the pink one, we might have different colors for guys soon. I'm going to look into the black one and doing like black with the hot pink uh, logo, probably. Would a guy wear that? Probably not. No, the man one, though. You're, the one like yours. We'll get your we'll get yours order in and we'll decide if we want to bring it in. That's what we want to demo at first. OK, so if you want a pink lady jacket, the my favorite groomer and I don't want to be copywritten. Pink lady is the grease thing. OK, I'm just associating to my mentality of the what I grew up watching the grease show. The okay, Grease movie. Right you can talk about what you did, whatever you want. Well, I just want to make sure I'm fair. Okay. So the pink lady was a phrase I put into my head because I loved that movie. So now I'm just associating. If you want to be the My Favorite Groomer pink lady, get your coat. <laughs> <laughs> get your jacket. And there, I promise you, there's going to be a time where I'm like, okay, everyone, we're going to go and we're going to meet in Arizona and all the pink ladies get, will have a special event with Dee Dee. So if you've ordered a pink coat or ja pink jacket... <laughs> I want that, man. So we're all, you know, when you go somewhere, we're all wearing the same stuff. That's what I want. Because we all believe and think about the same thing when it comes to animals and what we do as a groomer or as a pet owner. I think that is such a great connection with you. So if you end up ordering it, keep that in mind, okay? Uh, I am wearing a large, and they're very affordable considering I have to order the jacket from a local USA company. I don't know where the jackets come from. But I do know I order it from a USA company and they print it right here in Texas. I'm not mass ordering them overseas. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it as close to home as I can. And to support my local, I have to keep it and try to get it as affordable as I can. Okay. Until we start making things in the United States like we used to in the 70s, this is kind of be what we're, where we're at. Um, so it's like around 40 bucks. I mean, that's pretty affordable. They're, every single one is special ordered. So we don't have a bunch sitting here. I didn't do a mass order. So if you want one, it'll be a little bit of time to order it and get it printed for you and all that stuff. But it's done right here in Texas. So understand that when you're ordering it and you're supporting a local company and you're representing us as a product and as a YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Pick up your jacket today on myfavoritegroomer.com under grooming apparel. And you might have to go down to the bottom and go load more, load more. I can't remember how where it's at because uh, it's a lot of equipment on there, a lot of uh, grooming yeah, apparel on there. All right. So I love the jacket I wore it today. I'm like, yeah. So we sent Callie a jacket for free. We're sending it today in, anyway. That's she said, Didi, I would love a jacket because I always wear my jacket because she ordered shirts. Oh, she'll, no, she ordered a really expensive order, and I sent her a shirt. She's like, I always cover up my shirt because I'm always cold. So I said, that's true. So am I. Why don't I? Because I'm always wearing a coat, too. I was like, I need a coat, too, then. So I ordered us both a coat to see what it was going to come out and look like, and that was my gift to Callie, and we're sending it today. Callie, thank you for the millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. The big orders you've placed with me, the extensive support you've given me. Thank you so much for all those things. So... Get ready. A few, few seconds here. We'll start our next live feed. And thanks for supporting us. Uh, go to myfavoritegroomer.com and dogupstand.com. All right. See you later. Okay. So.